Good morning and welcome to another episode of Local Analog. Today we are in downtown Jackson on Gallatin Street and we're shooting the Mamiya 7 II. And uh, I recently acquired this camera. Um, actually a friend just let me borrow it and um, considering buying it, maybe some of you are doing that too. And so I wanna take some pictures with it today to see what all the hype's about and to see if it's really for me. Um, historically, I really love 6.7, um, the format 6.7, but it being a rangefinder doesn't give me the satisfaction of like a Pentax 6.7, for example. So we're gonna be shooting today um, and just kind of walking around, having a good time. Dark slide. So think about this camera. So there, I didn't know this, but there's a dark slide and the dark slide is controlled right here. And for example, to close it, you twist this and then to open it before you take a shot, you use this little switch here. That was something I did not expect in this camera was to have a dark slide, but um, it's very easy to use. Um, I don't know if it's all models, but this knob I find to be very hard to twist. So that's the first impression. And I still have yet to figure out how to change my ISO. So, <laughs> no worries there. Another thing I really love about this is the, the loading is just so easy. So I'm shooting Portra 400, which I kind of wish I was shooting like 160 or something, but. So, I haven't seen any scans from this camera yet, but I do understand like it is really cool. Um, it's really cool being able to shoot six by seven film or six by seven frames at such a lightweight camera. I'm able to just pack it into a small bag without even taking it apart. Um, and like with my Pentax 6.7, like I oftentimes choose not to even use it because of the size. And so it's really, really, really nice. And I'm used to a Leica anyway, so using a rangefinder for serious work is not new to me. But I would say if you're thinking about getting this camera, and you've only ever used SLR, you know, style cameras, I would say make sure you're ready for the rangefinder um, because it'll, it'll catch a lot of people off guard. I've been focusing a lot lately on just kind of the the motivation behind what I'm trying to shoot and like even though this video is kind of aiming more towards like a camera review like I still want to shoot I still want to shoot things that uh, are meaningful you know to me and when I look at that like I'm seeing this huge tree that is just symmetrical I'm seeing these old cars I really like photographs that seem to take me back in time it's been a while, it seems, since I've been able to just focus on just shooting for the sake of shooting. Um, so it's really nice to get out here and just uh, look around. Hello everyone, this is Cody. 
I'm in local analog, but sometimes you not you don't see me very often. Uh, I like walking with the camera, and uh, I like shooting Andrew shooting things. Uh. Just tried out the double exposure switch, which makes is what makes the 7 2 different from the 7 regular. But it's just a switch right here, and you simply pull it over. And what it does is it disengages um, the, uh, the film advance from the actual roll, so it just the camera just rewinds. And so it's really easy to do multi exposures. Um, I don't really like doing those very often, personally, but just trying it out to get a feel for the camera, so, yeah. Hurt my legs. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Local Analog. I think for me, and looking at the kind of things that I enjoy shooting, um, I think I would prefer to stick with my Pentax 6-7. Um, I just really like being able to get really close to my subjects if I wanted to. And I do so many portraits um, that that's really important to me. Um, but this camera, um, it's, it's not gonna be your best friend in low light, even though it has the leaf shutter. Um, it's not going to be your best friend in low light, and it's not going to be your best friend with just portraits. Um, so I would recommend getting the camera if you do, you know, 85% landscape or environmental kind of pictures. I just, I, f I find that this camera has so much hype around it right now that it's easy to just, you know, make the big plunge into it. But um, I find that it, it doesn't do a great of a job, as great of a job as uh, other cameras would do that you could get at a fifth of the price. Um, I think you could pick up a Pentax 6.7 for about 700 bucks. And so I would go that route before this route, um, personally. And I, and I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, just stick with my Pentax. Um, this camera's been really fun to work with though. Um, and I've really enjoyed having the ability to pack it into a tight bag. Um, but I just think I'll probably stick with my Leica for stuff like that. Um, and then when I want to go take portraits, I'll take the Pentax. Um, so yeah, uh, that's kind of the, the, the wrap of the video. Um, we really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, we recently just hit a thousand subscribers, which we are pumped about. Um, we thank you guys so much for uh, watching these videos and caring about what we're uh, talking about and what we're um, making videos about, ultimately. Um, many of you have been so kind and uh, written written us comments or messages that are very affirming and make us want to keep making videos so please share this with your friends um, please help us to, to grow and to get even bigger um, and so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you on the next episode of local analog